All right, so welcome, welcome. Glad you're here with us. We have a, a group of prayer warriors that we're about to bring on here, um, and we are we are going to be praying uh, for COVID. Our mayors of our respective cities and counties, uh, have, or mayors of our cities, have asked us, and and there's really there's prayer now happening right now all over the state of Texas. Many mayors have hopped on uh, to what Dallas and Fort Worth mayors uh, initiated uh, in a calling for a day of prayer. So uh, very excited to see, um, you know, what what God is, is doing in this time. Uh, a, a very unexpected um, initiation, I would say. Uh, but they're asking us to pray against COVID just as a whole, as a disease that it, or as a virus, that it would cease and desist. And we are the ecclesia and we've been doing that, but we've been specifically asked by our leaders to do it today. So we're going to do it again. And uh, also, we're also going to be praying for uh, the effects of it in our community uh, some on the prayer call are, are going to pray uh, for the church, for leaders in the church, uh, for the spirit of fear to be broken off of the church. Uh, this is our opportunity as the church to step out and step into this and minister to people who are full of fear and anxiety. They're, some people have lost their jobs. I mean, this is a legit uh, effect that it's had all across our community. And so we're going to ask uh, leaders in Fort Worth and leaders in Dallas, um, to spiritual leaders, to, to pray into that, to pray not only against the virus, not only against um, the, the fear in the church and churches as a whole, uh, but also for the recovery of our economy. Uh, I'm down here in Fort Worth, I know of uh, at least a dozen uh, restaurants and other businesses that are They've just shut their doors uh, permanently, not not as a a result of you know needing to keep their business closed, like you know movie theaters and other places that have corporate uh, outs and corporate options out of that. Uh, they're just you know locally owned businesses and they've closed their doors. So we need to pray that that only not only stops happening, but that God can restore that and, and our economy can recover. Uh, we may even uh, take a, a little bit of time and somebody uh, on the Zoom call here might uh, pray into how the enemy is using COVID uh, to manipulate and affect uh, the societies. We need to pray for schools. So there's all kinds of things that we're going to be covering today on our prayer, but I want to invite you, if you are not in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, to agree with us over your city. Uh, these, these circumstances and situations are certainly not exclusive to Texas or the Dallas Metroplex, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, Dallas County, uh, Tarrant County. Uh, they are not unique to us. So I want to invite you to uh, you know comment uh, let us know that you're on, that you're praying with us, and uh, we can see all of that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring on now. Um, I'm gonna bring on our our Zoom team, and uh, bring them on here. All right, guys. Uh, Let's try one more time. <laughs> So, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ right now, we ask you, Father, that you would be present with us together as we pray for the city of Fort Worth, Dallas, Lord God, and the Metroplex. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus right now, that you would send your Holy Spirit to hover over the city of Fort Worth, Lord, that you will accomplish the things, Father God, that you desire to do in our city. Father, we know that COVID-19 has invaded, Lord God, the, the city, Father, the state, the nation, and the nation to the earth. But we say we are going to roll it back off of Fort Worth today in the name of Jesus. We say we are sending the Holy Spirit of God to expand your kingdom in our city. We are going to see the sick healed. We are going to see the dead raised. We are going to see those oppressed of the evil one in every regard. 
Father, restored, Father, and made whole. Father, we know that you want to introduce people to Jesus in this hour, and that we dedicate Fort Worth to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, let's uh, let's start with um, some declarations. Whereas the United States of America and the world has been seeking to eradicate the COVID-19 virus and recover from the effects that it has had on our lives, families, churches, business, government, schools, sports, medicine, and research, and our well-being physically, socially, and financially, and whereas some of the brightest minds in our nation and the world have sought the solutions we need and the healing and restoration from the effects, and whereas days of prayer have been a source of insight, revelation, comfort, answers, and strength in our nation since its founding and brought us success in times of turmoil, confusion, and insurmountable odds, and whereas Luke 1827 says, but Jesus said what is impossible with man is possible with God. And whereas Psalms 121 2 reminds us that my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And whereas Isaiah 59 1 says, surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. And reminds us of the importance of seeking God in prayer. And whereas Mark 10, 27 encourages us as Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And whereas the people of Tarrant County are diligently seeking solutions healing and restoration from the COVID-19 virus and its effects, and whereas Tarrant County will set aside Wednesday, August 19th, says 17th, but it's 19th, 2020 at noon for everyone to pause from 12 noon until 1 p.m. for prayer and fasting for those who would like to come before God in prayer and join the citizens of Fort Worth and Dallas in prayer and whereas Second Chronicles 7, 13 through 14 instructs us as we pray, when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. May we turn from our wicked ways, humble ourselves, seek his face, and pray that God would heal and restore our land. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the commissioners, uh, the commissioner's court of Tarrant County, do recognize Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, as a day of prayer and encourage those of faith to continue to pray for the end of the effects of COVID-19 and for the restoration of all things in Tarrant County and throughout the earth. In witness whereof, we have hereunto set our hands and caused the seal of Tarrant County to be affixed this 19th day of August 2020. What a, what a incredibly powerful, uh, incredibly powerful um, proclamation. So we're just gonna we're just gonna begin to pray into all of those things that that they have um, asked us to release. And well, I'm just gonna start with repentance. I think that would be uh, a wise uh, place to begin. Um, just one second here. And uh, Father, we just we just come before you, and Lord, as a, a representative of the city, in faith and leadership, uh, as a, a leader in uh, this organization for the hub and our presence here in Fort Worth, Father, I I repent on behalf of any 
and all of the members of the church that have chosen in this season to act in fear and have chosen in this season to be swayed and persuaded first and foremost by the earthly realm instead of by the Holy Spirit. Lord, we take our cues from you. We take our assignments from you. We take how we're supposed to feel about things from you. And Holy Spirit, we just ask that you would instill into the church a boldness in this hour. Not a foolishness, but a boldness. A boldness that would thrust us into the harvest, that would cause us to be uh, extremely uh, aware of our circumstances and our surroundings of those around us that need your peace released into their life, that need your hope released into their life, and that we would be able as, uh, as, as good examples of uh, representing who you are, not just who you are, but how you operate, how you think about things, that, that we would be the examples of the turnaround, we would be the examples of the solution, we would be everything that this community needs, and that we would do it with wisdom but we would also do it with zeal and that we would do it without fear. I bind the spirit of fear and break the spirit of fear off of the ecclesia in Tarrant, Dallas County. I break off the spirit of fear off the believers in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and in any other city that's joining us. God, I ask you to place in your church... A, a true and authentic boldness and a true and authentic um, heart and passion for the harvest. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, this is our finest hour if we'll embrace it. So who wants to, uh, who wants to pray for Dallas? Christina, are you you're on I'm with ready. us? You lift up yes. Dallas and, and anything God puts on your heart there. Perfect. Well, Father God, we just come to you right now, Lord, and we thank you for Mayor Eric Johnson. Father God, I thank you that you are back into the schools, Father God. And I just thank you and praise you, Father God, that the businesses are recovering, that the fear is gone from the churches, Father God. And I just thank you for revival. I thank you for your power spreading throughout Jesus. Dallas and Dallas County, Father God. And we proclaim that this is a time of the miraculous, a time of your people standing, your FDA standing and showing hope and comfort and peace because you live in them, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you and praise you for just letting us show your love to the people of Dallas and Dallas County, Father God. And that we will not let an opportunity pass us by to show that love, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father God. All right. Um, who wants to pray for um, our our uh, leaders in Fort Worth? All right, Miss Sherry. Oh, you need to unmute yourself. There you go. Was lifted from Mayor Betsy Price, and God, we thank you that she knows to call on you. And Lord, we lift up. Uh, Judge Whitley and our healthcare, lead healthcare professionals. And we ask you to give them wisdom, God. Give them insight and give them understanding. Lord, that you would guide them in all of their decision making process and all the things that they have to consider and all of the things that they have to take care of, God. That you lead them and guide them in every direction for the schools, oh God, for the for the businesses, oh God, for for their own offices, Lord, that you've given them what to do and how to do it. 
And we just thank you for that, Father. We thank you that you give them strength, that you give them the boldness. Stand up and do that what you are speaking. That that you are putting in their hearts. Lord, we thank you for surrounding them with people who are listening to you and who have a heart to speak what you're saying, Lord God, that they receive that wisdom from those that you have to round them with, God. And we thank you even in the financial realm that you give them how to disperse the funds that the people need to be able to take care of their needs, Lord God, to be able to help in the housing industry, in the area. God, we thank you. We thank you for being able to do that, Lord. For, uh, for that you are, you are leading the transmission of every area. Jesus, yeah. And we just praise you for the power of and we praise you for the Lord. the Prince of Air. We praise you. I say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, he will not interfere with. Go ahead, Miss Sherry. Uh, lost lost Miss Sherry. Go ahead, uh, Miss Sherry, unmute your mic. Something happened. Somebody put me on me. Okay, there, all right, there we go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, Father, we decree and declare that first of all, please, the blood over this line. We are going to do this in Amen. Jesus' name. We cancel all this interference right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, we thank you for the leaders of this city for them being willing to cry out to you, God, and even for the people that's connected to them, for them being willing to cry out to you for wisdom, revelation, insight, understanding, and knowledge of how to deal with this situation, how to deal with the school systems, or how to deal with the with the finances, God. How to deal with and guide them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Who wants to just go after the 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 virus proper? Just the blanket, <laughs> double gun, go for it. All right, Freddie, why don't you go after that, and then Twig, you pray in there with him. Father God, I just thank you, Father God, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but, Father, they are mighty, dear God, to the pulling down of strongholds. So, Father God, we as your priests, we as your intercessors, Father God, we as your prophets, Father, in the earth realm, Father, we, uh, we take authority over this virus right now. In Jesus' name, we expose you for, for what you are and for, for who you are, and we call you out COVID-19, um, and we say you will wither and die in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that your word declares, God, that a fire goes before them and burns up all other enemies. So, Father God, even in the natural, Father God, as as um, as there was this large uh, explosion, Father, in Grand Curry, Father, we decree, God, that in the supernatural, that the fire of God would just literally go out and burn up this COVID-19 virus in Jesus' name that is causing devastation, that is causing death, that is causing chaos and fear, Father, not only in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex, but, Father God, in this land of the United States and the earth. So, Father, I thank you, Father God, that the very tide of this battle is turning in this in this metroplex and this country. But, Father, I thank you that the healing bomb of Gilead is being poured all over this city, all over this metroplex, this state, and this nation. And I thank you, Father God, that just healing, Father, is a, is, um, a rising, Father. I thank you, God, you are Jehovah um, Rapha, and Father, you are the God 
who heals. So, Father, I thank you that this virus, God, that it is dissipating and that it is dying. And I thank you, Father, for a miraculous turnaround of all of your sons and daughters, God, that are being affected physically by this. Father God, not only physically, but Father, also mentally, Father, financially, Father God. I thank you for the turnaround, and I and I and I give you praise, glory, and honor for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Father, we just ask, um, Lord, I, I am mindful of some other things that you keep bringing to me, that it's not just a virus, it's a plague, mm. Father God, and it's worldwide. Yeah. And it's um, bringing to the forefront and the surface the fact that, Lord God, those of us even that count ourselves believers, Father God, have not adequately turned to you in repentance and in truly um, delivering our lives, our fortunes, our everyday lives, our families into your hands and your care. And Father God, I am so aware of the fact that your presence has got to be made manifest. Father God, over our whole country, over all of our cities, that Father, over our families, Lord God, that you would waken an, an aliveness within them to hunger for God to hunger for you to be the first thing they think of when they wake up in the morning, the last thing they speak to before they go to sleep at night. Father, I thank you for each one of these um, council people at Fort Worth that signed this proclamation, Lord God, along with Betsy, Father Carlos Flores, and Jordan, Father Moon, Gray, Bivens, and McCarran, Father God. And, Lord, I thank you for Tom Altimus, who has literally spearheaded this, Father God. But, Father, I'm mindful of something he brought to mind that he chose today because it's also an important day on the sacred Jewish calendar, and the new moon starts today with the season of humbling repentance known as Teshuvah. And the name Teshuvah literally means the return to the presence of God. And if we don't do that, Lord God, just... I'm sorry, just asking for a virus to go away is one thing, but if we don't truly repent, if we don't truly give our lives and our daily uh, fortunes, Father God, over to an understanding that you are the Most High God, and Lord God, that, that your righteousness has to prevail, because if we don't, if we just get a quick fix, like we've done in the past when 9-11 happened, people repented for three months, and then it was a veneer. They all went back to same old, same old. This has got to change, Father God. Or uh, the virus out of Second Chronicles seven fourteen. He said, "If I bring it, will you humble yourselves?" Mm -hmm. So, Father, I, I come back to that again. That Lord, there's something here about this time mm -hmm. and this season that is sort of like when Jesus came the first time. That people mm -hmm. had to go to their home. And be registered in the town of their birth. And Lord, we've all been sent back to our homes. And we've been sent back to a cloistered situation. E even though we're given more freedom, Lord God, that Father, there's a suspect in people's eyes wherever you go that you're the one that's going to make them sick. And nobody has any faith in God. So Father God, I ask the Lord, you said that when, you, when Jesus comes back, will we find faith on the earth? Lord, I ask for faith to be mixed with the power of God mm. and that there be a brand new, fresh, heavy presence of the baptism and outpouring of the Holy Spirit, yes. Father God, that people are not only once again filled with the Holy Spirit, but Father God, that they are hilariously hungry for you mm. and unabashedly unashamed of you, Father God. So, Father God, I thank you, Father, for this miracle that this hour is bringing, Lord God, that people in the secular world that are in leadership, Father God, that maybe never thought about turning to God, have said we need to humble ourselves. So, Father, we ask that that state of mind, that state of spirit, remain, Father God. Lord, because the way up is down, Father God, and nothing's going to be conquered. This election that's before, Father God, the evil that's in the land every day, 
Father God, trying to take our freedoms away. Father God, in the lies, the lying spirit and the spirit of lawlessness that's been released. Mm-hmm. Lord, the only thing that holds it back yes. is the Holy Spirit within each mm-hmm. one of us and prevents the Antichrist from being on full stage. Mm-hmm. So, Father, I ask that, Lord God, your church, church raise up and that, Lord, the fear fall out of all these different houses of worship and that they come together, locking arms with the one next to them. Father, doing for their neighbor, doing for their fellow businessmen, doing for that family across the street. Father, hoping across the boundary, that all these walls of separation that are ungodly fall down, Father God, but yet that the boundaries of God that need to be erected would be established, Father God, for righteousness' sake, in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Uh, All right. um, Why don't we take a minute and uh, let's pray over the health care and uh, the effects of this in families and healing in families. And uh, Marklin, I don't know if you can... Uh, turn your audio on, but if you can, that would be awesome. Uh, but um, I'm going to ask uh, Diane if you want to pray over families, and then Marklin, if if you uh, get it figured out, I'll have you pray over health care. And uh, if not, we'll kick that we'll kick that part uh, back to Timberly. Okay, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, your heart is for families. Lord, you love families. You created your own. And Lord, throughout not only this city and this county and this state and this nation, but throughout the world, this plague has devastated families. And Lord, they have cried out to you, both your children and those who have not. And Lord, I know that you hear the cries of everyone. But Father God, I ask you that as your children have cried out, Lord, today as we come to you, Lord, let our incense of prayers arise and let it be a sweet smell in your nostrils, Father. Father God, I ask you that those families who have had devastation, Father God, whether it's been financial, Father God, or Lord, it's been children, Lord, that have have gone through very much aloneness in this past school year and Lord coming into this new one. Father God, those those families who weren't able to attend weddings or funerals or, or had loved ones lost, Father God, that they could not be with them as they passed. Father God, the brokenness of your children is strong. Lord, I, I just ask you, to, to see us. Let, we're asking you, Lord, to be strong for us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to go into those families literally as we pray, Father God, and begin a renewal and a change in those families, Father. Lord, those people without work and their finances are drained, Father God, and, the, and their businesses are gone and they're not able to support their families, Father God. We ask you for miraculous recovery. We ask you for miraculous recovery, that their coffers for their family be full. Father God, I ask you that mothers and fathers receive peace that they have not had for months. I thank you for that, Father God. I take authority over the fear in these families, over their, their, their spouses and their children, Father God, and their grandchildren, Father. I take authority over that fear, and I break it, and I say you will leave. Your, your assignment is called void in the name of Jesus. But, Father God, I ask you for a mending of families. Father God, we're where families are, are, are trending towards divorce, Father God. 
the stress has been so great on them. Lord, we say there'll be no divorces in Jesus' name. That this demon who arose this pandemic, his assignment over this earth is void now in the name of Jesus. He will not destroy and separate these families in the name of Jesus. Father God, where within these families, there have been a verbal or physical abuse, Father God, or even sexual abuse, Father God. Your children cry out to you now, Father God, and we ask you that this come to an end in Jesus' name. Father God, those people that have been abused in any way, Lord, we lift them up to you. And Father, we ask you that your spirit move over them right now. And Father God, that they receive freedom from this and they become restored. Lord, I bet they seek you and find you and that they are totally restored. That Father God, this pandemic, this demonic pandemic will have no effect on them. That they will come out of this and be victorious. Father God, I just speak into families, peace and wholeness. Father God, I ask you both within families of your children and those of unbelievers, you begin moving on them. Lord, we ask you, Lord, we intercede for the unbelievers, Father God, as well as, as our, our family. And Lord, we ask you to move over them in everywhere, in every place. And let the peace of God flow over the earth and surround them and encamp in their homes, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I thank you for that, Father God. Lord, your heart is for all. Your heart, you love your children, but you still love those people who do not know you, Father. And so in their families, Lord, I ask you that there'll be a breaking and, and a cleansing and a turning to you in Jesus name. But Father God, hear the cry of the grandparents and the mothers and the fathers and the children themselves. Father God, babies in their spirit are crying out to you, Lord. And Father, we ask you, Lord, to not turn away, but to let this incense of prayer arise and be a sweet smell in your nostril. And Lord, we ask you for this miracle within our families. Let hope arrive. Let faith be formed and let it work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. That was wonderful. Thank you. Um, let's get some people up on deck here. Uh, Rebecca, you'll need to unmute uh, if you can. I'd like you to pray over the nation. But first, I'd like Timberly to pray over um, Texas and uh, the leadership of Texas and all th also the health care workers of Texas. Just kind of roll that all into one. And then uh, after uh, Rebecca prays over the nation, um, it's a representative of, of government um, entities that, that, that work in our nation. Uh, I'd mm -hmm. like to ask Tim uh, Williams to pray over um, businesses. So we'll go Timberly with the nation and healthcare, and then to Rebecca over the nation, and then to Tim over businesses. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we do just pray all of these things that we have just prayed, and we bring it to the state of Texas right now. We pray for our governor, for Governor Greg Abbott. Father, we thank you for him. We thank you, Lord, for the love that he has for you. We thank you that he attempts at all times, Lord God, to lead, Father God, according to biblical principles. Father, we are thankful for that. We pray in the name of Jesus right now that he would not waver, that he would not be pushed to the right or to the left, Lord God. But, Father, that he will continue to seek your face, that he will know what needs to be done, Father God, to continue to cause his state, Lord, to recover. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would be with him, Lord, and guide him. Father, so that the businesses of Texas can recover, so that workers can go back to work. Father God, that uh, unemployment is at the right balance. Father God, as far as the payments, uh, we're not talking about people unemployed, but the uh, support and, and financial ability for people, Lord God, to still care for their families. 
that all of that is in balance. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that he will know what to do regarding COVID restrictions, <laughs> what balance they need to be, Lord, so that we can open up as a, as a state. So, Father, we just pray in the name of Jesus that you would continue, Lord, to, uh, to do these things. And, Father, we also pray for all law enforcement in the state of Texas. We pray, Father, that you would be with them, that you would lead, guide, and direct the police departments, Father, and those that lead them. Father, that they will know, Lord God, uh, how to confront darkness that would come into their cities. We thank you for Austin Police. We thank you for an amazing job, the state working together with them to protect our state capitol. And pray that similar strategies would be deployed wherever, Father God, um, those forces would want to come to attack our city. So, Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for your hand of protection. We ask you to remove COVID from this state. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Okay, Rebecca, why don't you pray over the nation? Father, we just come to you right now with uh, everything that uh, we are in our hearts. We just humble ourselves because you're, you did say that if my people humble themselves and cry unto you and repent and turn from their wicked ways. So, Father, we're crying out for the whole nation, Father. We're crying out on our President Trump behalf, Father. We're crying out for the leaders of our nation. Father, those that are around him to counsel him. Father, we're crying out, Lord God. We stand in their behalf and say, forgive us for the things that we did not agree with you in, Lord. Forgive us for the things that we have missed out, Father, in doing what was righteous, Father. Lord God, but you said, Father, that uh, in unity there is power. Father, you said, Lord God, that one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000, Father. So right now we're uniting in corporate, Father, for the corporate unity, Lord God, in prayer that you will bring corporate, corporate unity in our nation, Father. It looks in shambles, division everywhere, Father, but you can send the angels to come and stop this division, to come and stop the massacres that are happening, the fires, the riots, and everything, Father. You said if we call upon you, you hear us and you answer us, Lord. So here we are, Father. Oh, Lord God, crying unto you, you are the only one. Father, that has the power to bring unity, to bring, Father, this nation back, Lord God, un under your jurisdiction, under your rule, Father, because that is your heart's desire. Father, that all division stops in the home, in the family, in the cities, in the states, in the counties, in the nation, Father, in the nations. So, Father, here we are, Lord God, declaring your word that you said that if we cry to you, you will send the angels, that even one angel can kill an army of 160 or 185,000 people, Father. So we're calling for your direction and for your guide and for your leadership, Lord God, in this nation, that you would come, Lord God, and give the strategies, the wisdom to our president, Father, to, our, to those in leadership, Father, that need to take this nation to the path that you direct it to be taken to, Father. And we just thank you, Father, and we trust you. We trust you, Father, that you are a God that accomplishes what you say and accomplishes, Lord God, when we unite in corporate, Father, unity to cry out for our nation and our families. We just praise you, Father. We just praise you for your love and your mercy and your grace spreading shedding over us and our nations thank you father amen amen tim will you pray over businesses yes heavenly father thank you for a time to gather and pray for our cities here in the dallas fort worth area and father there's been uh, a great measure of pain and loss that has been felt here and around the world where there's been great economic loss and great opportunities have been lost and things have even failed. So Lord, I pray that you comfort those that have been in the situations that are so painful, that have been such a trial and difficulty. And I ask that your spirit comfort 
those here that can hear our voice and that, that are here in our region. And then, Lord, we ask that you begin to make a shift for all of us and all of those that have had loss. Father, we ask that you open doors of opportunity, that there are new ideas, that there are new pathways that uh, can be walked down to, to increase. And that is our, our cry, Lord, is there are those that are hurting, and we ask for you, Lord, to bring increase in those ways that only you can. So we ask this in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that, that the, the systems that are already in place for businesses and, and families with businesses, that there is great support for them, uh, fiscally speaking, that the programs that are in place are found and that there is actual uh, transfer of, of support and temporary support into the businesses so as to keep them afloat and to keep them liquid. And so, Lord, thank you for this time where our leaders, our mayors have said, today's the day of prayer, now is a time of prayer. So we praise your name and we say thank you for listening and moving on our behalf, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Dorinda, I'm gonna kick it over to you to just pray whatever God has on your heart, and just let it fly. She's a beast of a prayer warrior, so. Uh, and then Trelise, uh, if, if you can uh, pray uh, right after Dorinda's done on whatever the Lord has on your heart. Well, Father, I just want to thank you and praise you and praise you and praise you again for the unity that's come about between not just Fort Worth and Dallas, but all the little surrounding areas who mayors have learned about this time of prayer and said, yes, we want to be included. Yes, we want to say we join with you in this mutual time to turn our eyes on God, to ask for his wisdom, his help, his direction, his infusion into our cities so that we recognize the whole DFW area is recognizing we don't have the answers. But there's someone who does have the answers. And I pray that this will be a first step for many occasions in the future where cities will come together. And I pray that the word of this cooperation, the word of this unity will spread all across Texas to say, look what's happened in the DFW area. What did you guys do? And we can say we turned our eyes on him we together collectively sought out an ecclesia who would rise and legislate health and wholeness from the heavenly realm, who would rise and say, fear will not pervade, pervade um, in our cities. We will not use misinformation to feed fear. We will not um stand any further for the manipulation through fear of, of schools of businesses and father we want to thank you right now that that health and wholeness is for our seniors for our youth it's for those in the hospitals already sick and for those who are recovering and who have recovered and Father, I pray that you would just move it on their hearts where someone has actually recovered and is now free from that virus, that they would move it on their hearts, Father, as they pray for others, that they carry in them the authority to say, do it again. Yes. And because that's authority is from you, you will do it again. You will bring wholeness. You will bring healing and that this, that the cooperation between all the cities, that the news of that, the power that is achieved in this unity before you would indeed spread over all of Texas. And people would, would call Betsy Price. People would call Eric Johnson and say, hey, what'd you guys do? And that we, they would have to stand and say, you know what? We call for prayer. And look what, look what God has done in the DFW area. So we just thank you for that, Father. We thank you 
for unity, and I thank you that this won't be the first occasion. But there will be other occasions where the cities will come together and say, we need prayer. And it will be so fruitful, it will be the beginning of something that's done between cities all over this country, that not just a city, but a city and all the little multiple cities around it would come together and recognize that in unity before the living God, they can have their deepest needs as a city met. And we thank you for that. We praise you for that. We give you glory in advance for the answers in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome. Uh, Trelise, are you in a position to um, hop on and, and uh, pray, just uh, pray whatever God puts on your heart and, uh, yeah. and then pray for the church as well? Yes. Yes. So, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your people um, within Dallas, Fort Worth, Mex Metroplex, as well as all throughout the state of Texas. I thank you, Father God, that as it says in your word, that your perfect love cast out all fear. So right now, I just... Um, I just declare and decree your love bombs from the third heaven to just drop down over all over DFW. Your love bombs, your glory bombs, your um, bombs of kingdom sound and worship and praise. And I thank you, Father God, for an oil of joy to saturate all of your creation. I extend this out not only to all the people within Dallas, Fort Worth, um, as well as um, throughout the state of Texas, but also over all of your creation, because the land and the trees, they do cry out and they do praise your name. And so I thank you, Father God, um, for the oil of joy to just saturate the land and to saturate the territory. Father God, I thank you um, for your love heals broken hearts and binds all wounds. And so I thank you, Lord, that you are right now in this process, binding all wounds and healing broken hearts. Um, those within the land, as well as um, all of creation as a result of this trauma that has happened in relation to COVID-19 and all associated agendas um, that have been tied to it. I call forth um, tsunamis of living water to just saturate the entire um, territory, as well as to go forth within the homes and infiltrate um, the hearts, but also to just soften hearts, Lord, soften any areas of um, hearts within your people um, to be open and receptive and to be uh, perfectly prepared for the great revival that you are going to be bringing forth into this territory, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, even for um, a new level, and I come into agreement um, with those here on the call, a new level of unification among your people, especially within the body of Christ. And I just declare and decree and I prophesy um, new levels of revelation um, to infiltrate the hearts of your people, that they will um, be open and receptive to receive their heavenly scrolls from the third heaven so that your remnant will be rightfully in position to receive their call of what you would have them to do here on the earth within the days to come. And I thank you, Father God, for your angelic assistance um, from the third heaven and all of this, that you are um, moving and arranging things on all of our behalf so that your perfect will may be done on earth in Texas, in DFW, as it is in heaven. And I prophesy that she shall move into her full calling as what has been written in the books of heaven in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Stacy, uh, we're going to have you pray for education. And as soon as Stacy's, uh, I'm sorry, Stacy, go ahead and unmute yourself. That was an accident. <laughs> uh, as Can you hear as, me? Yeah, there you go. And as soon as Stacy's done praying for education, uh, we'll just uh, pray in the spirit. Everybody uh, 
open yourself up after Stacy's done, and uh, I'll just end us out with uh, some declarations. Uh, so go for go for it, Stace. Okay, just a heads up. I've got a few minutes because I'm walking into a meeting, so it'll be short but mighty. Yeah, short but mighty. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now, and we just bring the educational system, Lord. Um, just being on the forefront and seeing what has occurred over these months, God, you are in full control. Lord, we just arrest the spirit of fear that has so come in to invade our educational facilities. Lord, um, we pray, Father, for the administrators. We pray for the teachers. We pray for the students. We pray that your peace that passes all understanding would comfort and soothe them during this time and would direct their paths. Lord, that those teachers would not be in, in their classrooms viewing their students as receptacles of disease, Lord, but blessings from you as they impart the knowledge they desperately need. And those in Christian schools, they impart um, the glory, the glory um, of just uh, an education that is centered around Christ and around God. And, and Lord, you're the creator of all things. And so, Father, that that would not be hindered. Um, we just arrest that in Jesus name. Father, I ask that you give the, um, administrators and students, uh, and teachers just strength that you, um, help their exhaustion in the middle of all this, having to deal with the masks and all the requirements, Lord, I pray that you would give them endurance, Father, that um, you would give us all creative ideas as to how in the natural to just bless them uh, on their day to day. And Father, I pray that just the division that has been caused in the midst of this for people who are in such a, uh, a position to be united and to move forth in um, the goals and, and the things that need to be accomplished in this area, Lord, I pray that that division would be halted in Jesus name. And father, that your, um, balm of Gilead, your oil would come and would soothe over, uh, the enemy's attempts to divide and try to conquer. Uh, Lord, I just pray that we would continue to speak the end of this virus. We would continue to speak the end of this fear-driven path that is before us and that you would begin to show us lights on the end of the horizon, that this will come to an end and that the things that are being spoken over it about resurgence, we just reject those in Jesus' name. And so, Father, I pray for our educational facilities that you would bless them and you would prosper them in jesus name amen amen and amen all right so i'm going to ask you guys to uh, unmute yourself and uh, go ahead and just begin to pray in the spirit we're going to take about 30 seconds here and just kind of wrap things up and um, so father we just thank you in jesus name Lord, as we come together as your ecclesia, as your church, Father, we commit all of these things into your hands. I ask you, Lord, to take all these requests, to take all these prayers that we have offered up to you and seal it and decree it. In you, all of our promises are yes. And by us, the amen is spoken to the glory of God. So we glorify you, Lord, in this time. We glorify you in this season. We worship you, God. You are worthy of our prayer. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our hope. You are worthy of our trust. Father, we hope in you. We put our hope in you. Lord, your word says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. But an answer is a wellspring. God, we thank you that we take our hope out of our circumstances, out of our finances, out of our control, and we defer that hope to you, God. We release our hope to you, that you would hold that hope. You do not disappoint. You do not fail. You, Lord God, do not, your arm is not short. And God, you will see over and brood over and watch over and 
and press into and through all that you have commissioned. And you have commissioned us. So God, we stand in that authority. We break the back of COVID. We break the back of fear. We break the back of poverty. And we release all of these prayers in the name of Jesus to come to pass and to come to pass now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We glorify you, God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Guys, thank you so much for being on this uh, prayer call. Thank you for joining me here. We're, we prayed for an hour and uh, it never, never ceases to amaze me all of the opportunities that we have to come together to pray and the, uh, the, the, the way that we can continue to gather together, even though we are separate. So many of you uh, took time uh, during your lunch and, and hopped off of what you were doing to join us. And I just want to thank you for that. I, I really appreciate uh, you being a part of this and, and, uh, we'll, we'll just keep doing this as often as God calls us to do it. And we keep pressing in having done all to stand, stand, we will continue to stand. So thanks for being a part of this. I really, really appreciate it. All right. Hallelujah. Okay. So for those of you that were watching with us online, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, we, we are so grateful um, that you would take time out of your day to join us and, and to pray. Uh, we are always striving to include the whole church, not, not just our local fellowship, and certainly not just uh, within the, the Metroplex, but uh, we know that there's a lot of you that connect with us from all over, East Coast, West Coast, and everybody in between. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to, to uh, be with us and to pray with us. If one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000 to flight. Who knows in prayers of agreement how many uh, demonic strongholds will be arrested and shut down. And I'm believing for breakthrough in your city. We all are, are believing for a global harvest. And it would be so short-sighted of us to just think of ourselves in our own little congregation. And every blessing that comes to us through your connection to us, we believe it flows out and through to you. And you can take this and release it in your congregation and, and churches all over the nation, all over the globe, connected through Facebook. Uh, it's just such a blessing to be a part of the church in this hour. I'm so excited for what God is doing in your life. Thank, thank you for your comments and, and for praying with us and I just want to release a blessing over you uh, as, we, as we wrap up here. Father, thank you for those that, that join with and partner with uh, what you are doing in and through the Hub DFW and what you are doing in and through the church in Dallas-Fort Worth. I thank you for all of the cities that were represented on this prayer time. I release into every state, into every county, and into every city, those that connect with this time of prayer, the full weight and full measure and full authority of every prayer that we have prayed be released into their city, into their county, and into their state. I thank you, God, that this thing is moving from coast to coast, from north to south, that America shall be saved, and that COVID will not have any authority to stop the forward momentum of the church of Jesus Christ in this hour. I release that blessing over each and every one that is connected to this prayer call. And I thank you in advance for the victory that Calvary has already accomplished. Amen. Thank you for being with us. God bless you. And, uh, and I hope to see you uh, soon. Uh, don't forget to join us every week at uh, uh, 6 o'clock central. Um, 6, 630. Eh, it depends on when we get started, but, uh, our local fellowship is, is live every Saturday and, uh, God is doing some amazing, amazing things that you don't want to be, uh, missing out on and, uh, stay tuned. 
uh, for opportunities on this Facebook page where you'll see uh, myself and see Timmerly uh, as we kind of do a morning and evening. Uh, that, that's not an everyday thing. That's a kind of as the Holy Spirit leads us to do it thing. Uh, but make sure that you follow us. Make sure that you uh, connect with us to get alerts for every time that we go live. Uh, we just pray for, uh, for this ministry to be a blessing in your life. So thanks for being with us. God bless us. Uh, God bless you. And I uh, uh, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.